Hi YouTube. Uh, it's Alexander again. Let me show you today a uh, power supply. A new power supply. His name is uh, Wamptech K KPS 3010D and it's a uh, 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 30 volts, 0 10 uh, amperes. As you can see, it's a very little uh, box, uh, not very, not so big compared to my hand, and uh, it's uh, very easy to hold when you are, you have uh, some uh, some stuff to do any, anywhere, and. Um, when I purchased this, this uh, power supply, it's because, uh, of course, it's a very tiny power supply, very light, and uh, it has 10 amps here. As, as you can see, it has four nobles, uh, two for the voltage and uh, two for the, the current limited here. So it's not very important because uh, uh, it's not so sharp, uh, it's not so accurate, but uh, it's easy to to choose with the with the with time. So you have um, this number. You can you can you can make uh, the voltage you want, up. and you can. Uh, we are going to test uh, 12, 12, 12 volts. For uh, 15, 40, with this uh, 30 watts bulb, and look uh, how it reacts. Three amps, and uh, the the voltage d doesn't drop, as you can see. It's a good, very good stabilization. And so I have not the equipment to test the 10, 10 amps of this device, but uh, so uh, I, I believe uh, it will be uh, it's very very good power supply. So I have this uh, 24, 24 power supply, industrial power, power, power supply, professional power supply. Let's test it. Let's try it with this uh, beautiful tiny power supply. As you can see, it's running at uh, 14. Okay, let's see how it's, uh, it does with a short circuit. Let me do a short circuit. Mm. Not easy to do. Okay, short circuit. Okay, let's just increase the voltage. Here you have the 10 amps at very low value, but it's not uh, the good way. Of course, you need to make uh, lots of load here to have the 10 amps uh, until 13 volts. So. Now, um, let's uh, disconnect it and let's see how it's made inside. As you can see, it has a very beautiful PCB, very nice made, lots of uh, CMS components. It's a very tiny electronic, not so big. And uh, this uh, building is supposed to give 300 uh, watts. 300 watts. As you can see, this is uh, the PCB who hold the amperage, uh, uh, the, the current display and the voltage display. You can see here the potentiometer for to uh, calibrate uh, uh, the voltage or the current display. Here you can see here you can see the power MOSFET uh, switch power supply and uh, the main transformer here some capacitors and uh, 
In the other side, you can see a very big, very big uh, plate of uh, aluminum. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a very easy way to, uh, to, to make uh, this uh, MOSFET power supply cold. And uh, here you have a, a fan. For the first years, I didn't learn the fan running. So I, I suppose uh, it have a process for to um, to wait when something uh, uh, something uh, get, gets uh, gets heating uh, up for to to turn on this uh, fan. And he, here you have uh, what we call in electronic shunt for to uh, to display a, a current uh, uh, value. <coughs> here uh, you have the out output here, the, uh, but the output are, are, uh, have not have not um, a hole on this uh, on this. Uh, on the shaft, of course, this um, this connectors is a little, are a little bit uh, uh, cheap, but uh, it's not very important. It's very it's easy to change this stuff. The main thing is to to, to see the, the the quality of the PCB, and you can see it's a very nice metal. One KPS thirty D. Thirteen volts, ten amps. Okay. Very, very beautiful power supply. Not expensive. Uh, something like uh, seventeen, seventeen uh, dollars. If you need a very power, very high power power supply, don't hesitate. You can choose this one. Of course, I, uh, I, I, I have not uh, made any uh, tests about um, the, the quality of the output current here, but uh, maybe I will do it in a, a, another video coming soon. Thank you. Have a nice day. It was Alexander again. See you next time.